A year ago, Public Health on Call released a special episode on the decades-long fight for a swimmable harbor in Baltimore, and that story ended with things looking bright. But in the past few months, a series of events have led to one of the most catastrophic climate emergencies the harbor has seen in known history. The harbor just had a heart attack, essentially. This event was the ecological equivalent of a heart attack, and it needs a defibrillator. That's Adam Willis, a Baltimore banner reporter who has been covering Baltimore's recent pistachio tide, an aquatic phenomenon that has turned the water a milky green color and made the city smell like rotting eggs. And it's definitely made swimming in the harbor less appealing, even if it's still technically safe for humans to do so. As far as I understand, if someone had stepped into the harbor and went for a swim, it would have been basically fine. But it's devastating for the wildlife in the water. In a new episode of Public Health on Call, Willis talks about the pistachio tide in the Healthy Harbor report card recently released by the team behind the Swimmable Harbor movement. And while the city has made tremendous progress on cleaning up the harbor over the past few decades, there might be a limit on how clean it can get. No, I don't think anyone thinks that we're going to go back to some sort of utopian, pre-industrialized Baltimore Harbor, natural shorelines and wetlands all over the place. So I think the question then becomes, how can you replicate parts of what the harbor once looked like before we had industrialized and built up a whole city around it to try to address some of these issues?